Hi guys! Welcome back to another episode of our Life Seasons where we talk about the different seasons of life and how we grow through it. I'm your host Wen and as per usual, be sure to stick to the end for a little bonus. I want to make it a point to start all my podcast episodes by showing gratitude and love to all my Ally Seasons inner circle. I've been receiving a lot of love recently on TikTok and you guys, you know, leaving like your comments in the comment section which I replied to every single one of it because I really do appreciate the support. But if you're not from TikTok, please do leave a review of this podcast on whichever platform that you're on because I read every single review, comments and DMs, okay? I just want to say and I'm very excited to say that we will be celebrating this episode with a milestone a new milestone and i just celebrated one i think last month we have reached um i would say a thousand followers on tiktok and it's amazing because if you guys were to look back at i think episode 25 where i walk you guys through my vision board i had placed one of like, you know, one of the visions on my vision board is to be able to manifest a thousand community members, um, which is on TikTok or Instagram, wherever it is, by the end of the year. And we are only in February and I'm already celebrating a thousand plus of you. So I am so freaking excited for all of you who are new here. And I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys who has been supporting me since day one. And I have never, ever, ever thought that I could, you know, like our live seasons could actually reach this milestone. But with that aside, I just want to say that, you know, a huge thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so freaking excited for the future of our life seasons and for us as well to be a community and to be able to, you know, grow together as a community. So let's get into today's episode, shall we? Oh my god, let me tell you, this week's topic is something that I'm still actively learning and I think many of you um, are probably going through this as well, which is why you clicked onto this episode. I think we can all agree that as a society, by default, everyone compares, right? We compare our salaries, circumstances, our environments, relationships, family background, accomplishments, basically anything that can be compared, we compare to others, right? We compare what we have to others and we fall into this trap where everyone else's success feels like our failure. Their happiness is our lack. This open inverted sacred, sorry, not sacred, <laughs> this open inverted scarcity mentality fuels comparison, right? Making us focus on what others have instead of actually celebrating our own unique journey. And it is really very sad and I am a victim of it, right? I used to compare myself to other people's success or to my friend's success and seeing how, like, whatever that I see on social media, I think it always boils down to, you know, comparing myself to them, to people who I don't even know, to people who I look up to as well. And I find myself spiraling into this, like, negativity and feel like, why is my life like that? Like, if only I have this mindset and uh, if only I have this life, if only I have that, right? And it's so detrimental. So, I want to say that we're actually conditioned to think life as a competition, right? A constant win or lose game. We've all been there. Scrolling through social media, seeing someone winning at life, open inverted winning at life, and suddenly feeling insecure because we feel like we're suddenly not good enough, right? We suddenly feel the rush to reach like a certain timeline um, for our goals. So let's get one thing straight, okay? Life isn't a zero-sum game. Someone else's win doesn't diminish yours. Someone else's win does not mean that you have actually lost. Be happy for them. Celebrate and rejoice because we are all in a different race, right? We are not in the same race. That's one thing that I feel like we got to understand is that everyone's journey is different. We don't run in the same race. Our life is very different and it's made different for a reason, okay? If everyone thinks of it this way, we won't be unhappy as a collective, right? Because this kills all kinds of jealousy, dissatisfaction and self-defeating thoughts. The thoughts that, you know, we're all on a different race, this kills jealousy, okay? This kills comparison. We will bring each other up and help one another live out our best lives. So that is at least, you know, my purpose when I started our life seasons. I desperately wanted people to understand and to know that there is this side of life where not a lot of people are willing to see, right? The side where people are supporting each other, celebrating for each other, and I want that for us. I want that for our life season's inner circle. It's not a dog eat dog world. It's not a you against me society. We made it that way. We pit ourselves against each other by comparing. Because when you compare, what you're essentially thinking is that someone has to be a loser, right? When someone wins. So why can't we all be winners in our own life paths? We were never made 
the same and we were never made to be in the same race to begin with. So there is no comparison, there is no competition to begin with, okay? But what if I told you that comparison is the reason why you always have something to be upset about and why you feel like every aspect of someone else's life is always better than yours. What if I told you that when you stop comparing yourself to others and shift the focus on what your life could be, the potential and possibilities of your life, will you believe me? Because not many would, and I get this a lot, right? Easy for you to say, you don't have, um, you know, you don't have like the circumstances that I have, you don't know what I've gone through. Sounds easy, but you know how, you have not in, you're not in my position, you've not been in my position. Yes and yes, they are right. But my question would then be, so what difference does it actually make if I were to be in your position or have gone through what you've gone through? Do you, does it make you feel better? Will it improve your circumstances if I were to open inverted and make myself go through what you've been through? And we all know the answer, right? It's no. Nothing would actually change. So there's no point in actually sitting and trying to be in this like self-pity and always respond by saying, you don't know what I've gone through. You don't know like, you know, the circumstances that are in. You don't understand because no one else have to understand what you've been through other than yourself, right? I can't sit here and be telling you, like giving you solutions or rather trying to change your mind when you yourself don't want to change it. When you yourself want to sit in this self-pity party and just wallow in like sorrow and just allow all this like comparison or allow all this negativity to eat you up because like I mentioned a lot of times and time and time again I say that you can't change anything unless you really want to no one can change you unless you want to I can't change you this podcast can't change your life unless you choose to decide that you want to take responsibility for your life and decide to change it today okay I'm sorry if it hurts Actually, no, I'm not sorry (laughs) because it is the truth and sometimes the truth hurts. I don't know about you, but I'm so sick and tired of countering every possible solution with a, but you don't know me or like you don't know my circumstances, like the self-pity bullshit. Yes, self-pity crap. I hate to be the one breaking it to you, but self-pity doesn't get you to places, okay? Self-pity won't change a thing, but will only make you feel worse because you're focusing on the pain and by the law of attraction, Whatever you focus on grows. Like it or not, people who self-pity are absorbed into their own misfortune. That, you know, they are really pessimistic and they are filled with hatred, resentment, confusion and all like the heavy energy that drives people away from them. So it's tiring and I know it because I've seen it and I've actually been in it. So I know what I'm talking about, okay? I've said this a lot of times. You gotta start to change your life before you can actually start seeing your life change. And I know deep down you want to, if not, you won't be listening to this podcast, right? Remember what I said about making this year your best year yet, a year of growth in episode 23, let's make that happen for you, okay? I used to find myself comparing to others a lot, which then made me feel like, you know, the world is always against me. Like my life turned out to always be unfair. Always am stuck in misery and I'm always, like, I always feel terrible and I always... Um, I always find myself filling up with like a lot of complaints. I have a lot of things to complain about just because my focus is a lot on how my life is so unfair and how others' life seems to be so easy and how others seems to be living the life, their best life and I'm just here, you know, sitting in self-pity and just feel like life is just so unfair. So this was some of the things that I used to complain about and you might be familiar with it, with some of it, if not all, okay? How unfair it is for, you know, my colleagues, um, manager to allow her to take half day off on an af- unofficial holiday and I don't have even though we're in the same department right this is something that I complain about how someone got promoted before me even, even though like I'm, I'm a hard worker how someone's success seems to come so easy and quick when I busted my ass off but I don't see the same results how someone already owns a house at my age and I'm still living with my parents how someone's partner seemed to be more romantic than mine how everyone else seems to have their life together and I just feel lost and I feel like I'm left behind how others life seems to be filled with exciting adventures mine just feels boring and dull even saying all this out loud right now makes me go like ew like I can't like my body is literally rejecting to these statements because it is not an identity that I want to associate with anymore and I'm not saying that I don't complain anymore because I'm still human after all, right? And I con- I'm still constantly learning. And like I said, we're all like a work in progress. I just got really good at catching myself before I start spiraling into this comparison and complaint loop. And I noticed how I used 
uh, and I want you to know this, how I use the words seems to be. Because know that whatever you see online is a version of what the creator wants you to see, which is normally like the success, the rainbows and butterflies. Know how to differentiate the raw version of life to a painted part of it. I will talk about the actions you can take, which I found really helpful um, for me that actually to help me stop comparing in just a little bit. But for now, if you relate, I want you to take responsibility. I know it's a hard pill to swallow to admit that you're a complaint king or queen because no one likes to be associated with this identity. But subconsciously, a lot of us actually find joy in complaining or just ranting. And that is also part of the reason why we find ourselves comparing to others. Because we compare, we always have something to complain about. So if you want to get rid of this habit of complaining, check out episode 12, I talk about, you know, complaining and how I got out of this um, complain mode and catch myself all the time when I start complaining and completely change my life, change my perspective on life and literally change my actions and my life, like my reality literally just shifted, okay? So for more details of complaints, check out episode 12. Anyways, the fastest way to kill your dreams, desires, and any possibility out there is to say, if only, okay, these two words are the words that are really, really, really detrimental to your reality or whatever that you actually want to manifest or whatever that you believe that you can manifest, okay? So things like, you know, if only I could be a digital nomad and travel the world like them. If only I could own a business like theirs, then I would be successful. She speaks so well under, even under pressure. If only I had her confidence or if only I could be like her. Instead of dwelling on the if onlys, let's shift the narrative to it's made possible for me okay you might have your own version of statements of like of if only statements and i want you to actually shift your narrative to start saying it's made possible for me too so go from if only i could be a digital nomad and travel the world like them to it's made possible for me to travel the world i can start saving researching on destinations and making a plan okay going from if only i could own a business like theirs then i would be successful to success is only made possible for me too. It is defined by me, not by others. I set my own goals and celebrate my unique achievements. From she speaks so well under pressure, if only I had a confidence or if only I'm like her. To confidence is made possible for me too. I can build my confidence by doing the things that I said I would do and practice public speaking, okay? See how the change of words actually allows you to focus on the solution rather than comparing yourself to someone else's life. Be aware, catch your words because your words impact your actions and then your actions actually becomes your reality. So words do have power and they do carry power to change your future. So speak your desires into reality, okay? Every version of you that you ever imagine exists in a different dimension. It's called quantum leaping. So the manifest... To actually manifest the version of you that has everything you ever wanted, you got to vibrate on the same vibrational energy and to arrive at that version of you, okay, and make it your reality. I know it's a little bit of a woo-woo and I won't be talking too much about it because I'm still still testing this concept Um, and if you have been listening to this podcast long enough, you would know that I only talk about things that I have actually experienced myself but I'll definitely make an episode on this once I have, you know, enough personal experience to talk about. So... Whatever that is, I want you to know that whatever that you desire and and see, you know, whatever that you desire and you want to see in your reality is actually made possible for you, okay? Whatever that you desire and if you see your manifestations actually happening to the people around you, even strangers, it shows that it is coming your way. It is possible. You get to witness it happening to others and I mentioned about this in episode 32 on how using the word get to is so, so, so powerful for your manifestations, okay? The universe wants to make sure that you're ready for it. It's like to test, to check, you know, to check in with yourself to see whether or not you can be genuinely happy for others and grateful to be part of it because you believe that it's made possible for you too. So use their success as a springboard and not a roadblock, okay? Here's a way I like to think of it, right? Like this life that you have, it's a collaboration between you and the universe. Here's a little secret. The universe doesn't play favorites. When you compare, you disconnect from the abundance and possibilities available to you, right? You shut yourself all off of all the possibilities and you shut yourself out from like what the universe is trying to tell you, what the universe is trying to provide for you. Because when you are constantly in this negative side or in this negative like uh, mode, 
what you attract is always negativity because whatever that you focus on actually increases, okay? So instead, I want you to shift your focus to collaboration, to think of this as a collaboration. See yourself as partnering with the universe, aligning your thoughts, actions, and desires with your unique purpose. Believe that there's enough success, enough love, enough money, and enough happiness to go around and you attract more of it in your own life. It's your life and no one else's, okay? There's a reason why you are made the way you are to live out your dreams. When you open up yourself by releasing all the comparison, you allow the universe to work in your favor. You'll never discover your possibilities if you're always busy looking at someone else's life. So remember, don't let your ice cream melt while counting someone else's sprinkles. Don't let the possibilities of what your life could have been slip away while keeping score of of someone else's life because before you know it, years would have passed and life cycles ends. I do not want to be like to see you in your deathbed and wishing you enjoyed life a little bit more. Okay, you do not want that. Trust in the universe that it's a that it has a plan for you. Believe that the universe is always conspiring in your favor, especially when it comes to removing people from your life or replacing you like replacing situations or placing you in situations that you don't think you can actually handle. Trust that it's all planned out and it will all work out eventually, which if you have noticed, it actually always ends up working out better than what you've actually imagined it to be. I want you to look back at all the situations that you once thought that you'll never get through it and look where you are right now. There has there has to be a reason why you had to go through that pain, why that person was removed from your life, why certain things happen. It'll all make sense one day, okay? Trust me, all you got to do is to trust in this collaboration that, you know, that you have going with uh, going on with the universe and it's a lifetime collaboration. I hope you know that you'll never be placed in situations that you do not have the resources or ability to overcome it. To me, at least, we are all put on this earth to figure out our life purpose in the best way possible. And by that, I mean taking the most exciting and fun-filled path to figure your life out. So go live life and chase after your desires with the ease of mind, knowing that everything in life happens for a reason, even if it may seem hard for you to grasp right now. But trust that the universe only throws you in situations and challenges that, you know, it thinks that you can handle and you can actually do that, alright? Everything that you need to overcome is already within you. Stop looking outside of yourself and start going inwards and finding your answers. Now, I want to address something. I disagree with the blanket statement of if I can do this, you can do it too. Yes, I get the concept of, you know, trying to motivate people to get their ass up and taking action. And yes, maybe they successfully, you know, motivate someone to finally start taking action. But what isn't talked about often is the part where people start to compare their progress with the person that they look up to. And that might be you too. Like you might find yourself actually comparing yourself to someone that you look up to as a role model, right? You start to compare your life, you start to compare the things that they have to the current situations that you have or the current um, cards that you're dealt with, right, in life. And I just feel like, you know, there are other ways to actually motivate people or there are other ways to actually motivate ourselves or at the very least, shine light on the fact that this is a journey that is specifically for them and it can look different for everyone, right? Because someone else's day one might be a day 100 or day 10 or even not something that you might, you might even go through, right? It's not something that you're meant to go through. Everyone leads a very different life because we're all so unique in our own ways. The way we think or perceive things, our strengths and weaknesses are special to us. What we like and dislike is also very different from the rest and that is what makes the world an interesting place, right? Can you imagine a world where if the statement, if I can do this, you can do it too, literally happen, it won't be fun because as soon as someone cracks the code to life, Everyone would just take the exact same steps and get to the exact same outcome and life would just be so boring. Take everything you hear and see with a pinch of salt. Even for what you hear on this podcast, take what resonates and live what doesn't, okay? I want you to start to ha- take life into your own hands. I want you to start to have your own take on life. Not everything you see or hear, you have to apply in your life, okay? 
pick and choose always remember that you have a choice on how you want to live your life you have a choice on what type of thoughts you choose to have okay at the end of the day you're going to have to learn certain lessons that is catered for you the life lessons that we learn comes in different various forms but why we can relate to certain mindset or certain concept is because at the core the lesson is still the same whether it's to teach you to learn how the importance of inner peace and prioritizing yourself or it's okay to let people go in your life or letting go of control the universe will allow us to learn these lessons in different ways so let me give you an example right someone might go through a heartbreak to learn the importance of setting boundaries meanwhile someone else might learn to set boundaries through a burnout from work so to this statement if i can do do it you can do it too i would say that yes use it as a form of motivation but start like use it as a form of motivation to actually start taking action but know that how someone takes like how someone how long sorry how long someone takes to get to somewhere is not a good measurement of how long you will actually take right because life is so different for everyone so if you actually start to feel a need to rush yourself to get somewhere after seeing someone of your same age um seems to have like life figured out and you feel like you need to start rushing as well know that you know this is not it okay comparing your life to someone else's life is very 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 detrimental to your mindset or to your mental health the fun to life is when you actually start to curate your own secret recipe to living out your desires in the most fun and fulfilling way for you so you don't actually take the joy away from yourself by trying to follow someone else's footstep even if they have the same desires as you because who knows what your crave what your soul craves for is very different from what their soul crave craves for So craft your own path to your version of success and ideal life, okay? Focus on your own path, your own strengths, and the unique steps you can take to reach your goals. So speaking of unique steps, if you are determined to make this year your year, I want you to do whatever that is necessary for you to stop comparing your life to others, to not allow yourself to be in this self-pity party, okay? I'm not sure about you, but if but I find that like social media has a tendency to rush everyone's goals because of how, you know, majority of it is based on like celebrations, right? A friend celebrating their recent promotion, another celebrating like a new relationship or engagement. Comparisons are often triggered by something we see on social media. So I want to share three steps that you can do when it comes to, you know, like taking care of like your social media lifestyle. It's very easy to remember. Okay, remember this. Unplug choose again and celebrate others. So the first one for Unplug, when was the last time you actually did a social media detox? If you have not even heard of what a social media detox is, I suggest you actually really try it out and you'll see like a significant difference, okay? I love social media and I used to find myself spending most of my time um, or rather my free time just scrolling through like TikTok or Instagram and because of my social algorithm, my For You page of it was always filled with business owners celebrating their success, manifestations coming through left, right, center and digital nomads living their best life. All of which I desired for my own life and I ended up feeling really shitty about my situation because I wasn't there yet, right? What was supposed to be a relaxation time actually turned out to be so, so, so bad. Like I find myself constantly spiraling into this comparison state and constantly wondering when it will be my turn. So if you relate, I want you to go on a social media detox. Focus on no one but yourself. Ignore what everyone else is doing. You don't need to know. You don't have to know. Trust me, you're not missing out on anything, okay? The only thing you're missing out on is comparison and self-doubt. Imposter syndrome, which if you ask me, I'd rather live without them. Social media can really be exhausting, especially when you're constantly scrolling through like hundreds of contents every single time. And especially when it's really like when you're scrolling through mindlessly, okay? We all know that social media can paint an unrealistic picture of, you know, everyone else's open inverted, like, perfect lives. So that is also the reason why we will want to compare our lives to others or to rather to what we see others post, okay? So be mindful of who you you follow online. Do they inspire you or actually they, they want or rather they allow you to compare yourself to them? Unfollow those accounts that trigger your feelings of inadequacy or just someone that doesn't align with you anymore, right? Take regular breaks from social media. Disconnect, reconnect with your own reality and priorities. That is social media detoxing for you. And let's be real, sometimes it's inevitable for us to still see something that triggers us and we start to compare ourselves to others. And that brings me to the next step of choose again, okay? When you catch yourself comparing, choose again. 
When those comparison thoughts creep in, consciously choose a different story. Whatever story that you choose to hold on to is correct, so it will be your reality. So choose wisely, okay? Instead of saying, I'm not good enough, shift to I'm learning and I'm still growing. Focus on progress and not perfection. Choose to appreciate your own journey. Celebrate your progress and shift your focus to goals that align with your authentic self. Choose to replace your social media scrolling to reading or journaling or sometimes maybe even Netflix, right? Now, lastly, this is a very important one, learning to be happy for someone else. Like I mentioned just now, what is possible for others is made possible for you too. So instead of envying someone else's success, send them genuine like congratulations, celebrate their wins with them. When you lift others up, you lift yourself up too because like the energy that you surround yourself with is so important, right? Be grateful to be part of their success because that success is made possible for you too. So celebrate others as well. Celebrate others' progress and process and like just their manifestations and just congratulate them from the bottom of your heart, okay? As promised, I want to leave you with a quote by Sensei Ogui. I'm hoping I'm not butchering his name, but... A flower does not think of competing to the flower next to it. It just blooms. And I love this quote so much because when you compare your journey to someone else's, you lose sight of your purpose. You start to steer your life towards the direction of wanting to live out someone else's purpose in hopes of finding your own. And that often leads to unhappiness, dissatisfaction and frustration even if you have actually achieved what they achieved simply because that is not your life purpose. It is theirs and your soul knows it, okay? You can lie to the logical side of yourself for wanting that lifestyle or desire what others desire, but you'll never be able to lie to your soul, okay? Where your deepest desires and life purpose resides. Only when you start living out life the way your soul craves for, you'll start feeling fulfilled, learning the true meaning of enjoyment. So that's all for today's episode. I hope you enjoy this episode. And again, thank you so much for sending it in like requests like this. And I hope to receive more requests from you guys. So if you have any burning questions, please feel free to drop me a DM on Instagram at our live seasons or comment on whichever platform that you're listening to. I am super appreciative of everyone who's been listening to this and who has been supporting me on this journey. And As usual, I'm always here. I'm always your cheerleader. I'm hoping that, you know, everyone gets to understand and see how amazing life can be when you start to work on yourself, okay? So that is also the reason why I started Our Life Seasons Podcast at the very first place is because I want everyone to know and to grow with me because I am on this side where I feel like, you know, life is... Life can really be interesting and life can really be fun right and I feel like a lot of people are missing out on this just because they are stuck with a lot of like their negative self-talk or rather they are just not exposed enough to mindset shifts like that so these mindset shifts or whatever topics that I talked about in our life seasons episode is always something that I have been through I've gone through and I'm on the other side where now I want to look back and actually help people to get to where I am right now okay but like I said everyone is on our own journey of life and I just hope that you know podcast episodes like this will actually help you to change or shift something within you and to start really taking your life seriously in a way whereby it's fun and fulfilling but at the same time it's also to take responsibility of your life okay I hope you really do enjoy podcast episodes like that do let me know and I'll see you in the next episode bye